If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights. channel in this episode 6 of performance engineering series today we are going to talk about meta space and survivor space meta space was also known as perm gen before jdk 8 the main difference between meta space and perm gen is perm gen cannot grow the memory automatically but meta space can and also you can set the maximum uh, heap usage for your meta space using the jvm argument maximum uh, meta space size If you take a jmeter dot bat file, if you open and search for a meta space, you will get the value two fifty six mb. Even in meta space also, garbage collection will happen. And if there is no space in the particular uh, region, then the JVM will throw the out of memory error in the meta space region. So this meta space falls under non heap area. So that is the uh, another point you have to remember. Now let me open uh, Java Mission Control, and here I am running uh, jmeter. and if you click on this memory tab at the bottom here you can see the active memory pools and if you just sort out by the type here you can see the old gen survivor space and eden space all the three spaces are falls under heap area whereas meta space uh, code heap and compressed class space everything is falling under non heap area so what is the purpose of meta space so meta space stores the data about your classes so which class is getting loaded which class is getting unloaded so those details will be stored in the meta space now let us go back to the uh, slide again let us talk about uh, survivor s0 and s1 to explain this let us uh, open the visual vm and just click on uh, visual gc so here you can see under uh, younger generation we have three regions eden s0 s1 and right now i am running a uh, jmeter and as you see here i have been executing a simple script uh, from past couple of hours and here you can see survivor 0 is empty and survivor 1 is uh, just a shrinking it's going up and down and uh, gc is happening on the binary gc and uh, application is running fine to explain the process uh, let me go back to the uh, blackboard here and as you know we have multiple regions in the heap area a uh, younger generation uh, older generation and under the non heap area we have meta space and the heap area within the younger generation we have eden space so this is where uh, your new objects will be created so here uh, so let me uh, change this to the pen here and let us uh, start the process so whenever you start your application all the new objects will be created here so the objects which are living here mostly it will be very shortly lived so it will not uh, extend their uh, life process so assume that uh, your uh, eden space is getting full then minor gc will happen so after the minor gc whatever the object survived it will be moved to either s0 or s1 so assume that it is going to s0 so now what will happen s0 will keep growing and once the threshold is reached so if the minor gc happens what will happen is the jvm will sweep only the eden space and survivor space so it will not go to s1 because s1 is empty so it will always go to the whichever uh, whichever objects are living in which region there only the jvm algorithm will clean up the unreferenced objects after that gc happen minor gc happens then all the objects will be moved here so now let me uh, delete the uh, survivor space here so here everything will be removed at any point of time if you observe your younger generation either s0 or s1 will be always empty so at any point of time only eden space or s0 or s1 only will be occupied by the objects which are living in the younger generation so after some uh, cycles so whatever the objects are still living so we can set some threshold so even after the cycles uh, say for example six cycles so even after six cycles there is an object living in the younger generation so those object will be moved to older generation so this is how your objects and garbage collection works in jvm so this might be varying in the latest generation but this is the whole idea so whenever new object comes it will uh, go to the uh, eden space and whenever uh, after minor gc 
if the object is uh, surviving then it will uh, either pick s0 or s1 and it will just uh, sweep it and in the next sweep again all the objects will be moved to other uh, survivor space so this uh, s0 and s1 will take a turn to store the uh, objects which are living and rest everything will be cleaned up during the garbage collection so even after a couple of cycles even uh, some threshold uh, set based on the argument there are some uh, objects is living so those objects will be moved to older generation so even if the older generation is getting full then only you will get the major gc then everything will be cleared and of course it is not a uh, guarantee everything will be cleared but you will see uh, the uh, heap memory usage will be uh, dropped down even if it is uh, not uh, reducing then there is something wrong in the uh, settings or in the application code so that needs further uh, deep dive into the uh, analysis i hope meta space and survival space concept is clear so with this knowledge uh, we are going to uh, take the different uh, kind of exception using the buggy app or uh, we can write some uh, simple java uh, program or we can leverage jmeter and then we will simulate the error and then we will analyze how you can uh, fix the defect how you can enhance your performance how you can uh, present the report so those things we will be seeing in the upcoming uh, videos i got a question uh, from the community so whenever i take this jmeter as an example what we are testing whether we are testing the application or we are testing the jmeter we are not testing the application we are testing the jmeter and we are learning the how you can uh, analyze your java performance bottlenecks since jmeter is a java application i am just taking that as an example and then i am just uh, demonstrating the concepts so we are not testing anything with respect to the uh, application whatever i am running now so right now as you see here uh, i have localhost 8080 so we are not testing this particular application we are just uh, learning the concept via jmeter so i hope this is clear and if you have any questions please post in the comments and thanks for watching have a good day If you like my dad's videos please subscribe to QA Insights channel